Hi, I'm Greta from Lithuania, but I moved to Seattle with mom when I was a baby. Before I go on, please like and subscribe. Even though mom and I were immigrants, we were millionaires since mom was the CEO of a huge company. I had a really good life. I was close with mom and friends with all our servants in our mansion. Then one morning, something odd happened. I woke up to find my whole body covered in red blotches. Mom took me to the doctor immediately to check if it was anything serious. After some tests, I found out I had a skin condition that caused constant rashes and there was no cure. I stared at myself in the mirror. God, I looked like an alien. Mom, what are the kids at school gonna think when they see my skin? Oh, Greta, it's just a rash. It's not a big deal. Unfortunately, it was a big deal. None of the kids at school wanted to sit next to me because they were worried my skin disease was contagious. So after a while, I started covering up my skin with baggy clothes. I just didn't want anyone looking at my body. But mom was not happy with the way I dressed. Greta, you look like a homeless person in those clothes. Just because you have a skin condition doesn't mean you should stop putting effort into your appearance. But why? I'm comfortable and I'm covered up. No one will make fun of my skin. Mom wouldn't listen. Instead, I woke up one morning to find she threw away all my t-shirts and sweatpants in the garbage and bought me a whole new wardrobe of tight dresses. I was really mad mom did that. So as revenge, I refused to shower for a whole week until mom returned the dresses and bought me some new baggy clothes. She gave up on me after that. I knew I was disappointing mom, but she just didn't understand what it was like looking like me. One day when I was 15, I was studying alone in the library. Then suddenly, I saw a boy stealing my homework binder. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Calm down. I'm just borrowing this for a minute. Also, stop shouting. We're in a library if you haven't noticed. Oh, don't talk down to me. And I'm not letting you borrow any of my stuff. I snatched the books the guy took, which were sitting on his chair. But he put his hand on my shoulder. That's when I noticed his lovely hazel eyes and how handsome he was. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm failing half my subjects because I have a learning disability. I'm kind of desperate, so I was going to copy your homework. But I, I shouldn't do that. Especially not to a pretty girl like you. Whoa, did the guy just call me pretty? I started blushing and offered to tutor him so he could improve his grades. And he agreed. I found out his name was Ian and he was a new student. I also discovered Ian was super attracted to me. He was always telling me how beautiful I was, even with my skin condition and baggy clothes. After a few weeks, Ian asked me out and became my boyfriend. He turned out to be a really sweet guy. Plus, dating someone so handsome really boosted my confidence. If someone like Ian could like me, maybe I wasn't so bad looking after all. One evening, I decided to invite Ian over to meet mom. But when I opened the door, Ian was standing next to a really pretty girl. This is my friend Jessica. She's from out of town and doesn't know a lot of people. I had no idea what to say. I was so uncomfortable. At dinner, mom kept complimenting Jessica on how pretty she was. And then she said something that really crossed the line. Ian, I'm curious. You're just a handsome young man, and while I love Greta, she doesn't really doll herself up the way your friend here does. Why did you choose her and not someone more like Jessica? Ian looked super awkward, and I fled from the table angrily. I was so sick of mom tearing me down all the time. She just couldn't believe that any guy could ever want me. But the night of prom, Ian dropped a bombshell on me. He was moving to China. I was devastated, even though Ian swore we'd talk every day and soon he'd come back for me. Then one day, I woke up to discover Ian had blocked my number and there was just no way to reach him. Just like that, he'd ghosted me with no explanation. I was depressed for weeks. Oh, sweetie, we both knew the day would come where Ian would move on. I know it's always been impossible for you to think that any guy could love someone as ugly as me. But guess what? What Ian and I have is real. I know he wouldn't just shut me out like this. I need answers. I'm going to find Ian and I'm going to talk to him. That night, I did a ton of research and found out what high school Ian was at in China. I convinced mom to fly me there so I could have closure with Ian. When I arrived at Ian's school, I asked around so I could find him. And when I did, my jaw dropped. 
He was dressed in flashy designer clothes and his arms were around two girls. Looks like you're having a blast. Whoa, uh, Greta, did you track me down? Yes, I tracked you down. Why did you ghost me? You said you loved me. Actually, I never loved you. I only dated you for your money. But my dad's business took off and I'm inheriting half the money, which means I don't need to pretend to like you anymore. No, you're lying. I know what we had was real. I... Is that a joke? The real girl I liked was Jessica, the chick I brought to your house that night. I made out with her right after we left. Your mom was right. There's no way I could ever be into a girl like you. I couldn't take it. I slapped Ian so hard across the face he fell backwards. The last year of my life had been a complete lie. Worst of all, mom had been right about everything. I hated her, and I hated Ian, and I hated myself for being so undesirable. After that day, everything changed. I started covering my face with a scarf and studying every night until my brain hurt. Then, I got into the most prestigious college in America. One day, I was reading under the trees when a guy came up to me, who apparently was reading the same book. I thought I was the only nerd around here obsessed with aliens. <laughs> nope, we're two nerds of a kind. <laughs> the guy laughed and I found out his name was Ron. We instantly became friends and started hanging out every day over the next few months. After a while, I started developing feelings for him. Then one hot, sunny day, Ron and I took a hike in the desert. I started sweating like crazy and started ripping off my layers. That's when I noticed Ron staring. Oh my God, you're the girl with the skin condition my twin brother Ian dated for money. The reason we never met was because I went to a boarding school for gifted kids. Wait, what? Ian and Ron were twins? You weren't the only girl Ian manipulated. Him and I grew up really poor and had to support our family from a young age. I wasn't as affected by it because I went to a boarding school, but Ian was an anxious mess. He thought if he could meet a rich girl in high school and marry her, everything would be okay. I was too stunned to speak, so I hadn't been the only one Ian had used. This whole time, I thought I hadn't been good enough or pretty enough for him, but Ian's behavior had nothing to do with me. Then suddenly, Ron took my hand and stared into my eyes. I felt my heart race. Ian was an idiot for not seeing how special and beautiful you are, Greta. I really like you. I want what we have to be more than a friendship. My stomach was in knots. I liked Ron, but he was also the brother of the guy that used me. I didn't know if I could trust him. Um, I... Actually, I have to go. I ran from Ron before he could answer. That entire week, I did everything I could to avoid him. Then one day, as I was coming out of class, I noticed Ron following me. Okay, Greta, I know you've been avoiding me. And I know you're weirded out that I'm Ian's brother, but that doesn't mean that I'm the same kind of guy he is. How am I supposed to know that? Why can't you just give me space? Because I have feelings for you, and I know you have feelings for me too. So what if I have feelings? You think you can just come into my life, tell me I'm special, and I'll automatically date you? I'm not desperate, Ron, and I don't need a guy to be happy. I stormed off right then and decided I wasn't taking any more chances with dating. I had better things to do. I signed up for every club at my college and completely transformed my wardrobe. My skin condition was totally visible, but I didn't care. I also wore tons of makeup and jewelry. The next day at university, everyone started mooning over my new makeover. You even look hot in your lab coat. Would you maybe want to get coffee after class? It's a possibility, but I'm pretty busy these days. And it was true. I was ready to thrive with my new look and new schedule. But that afternoon, everything turned upside down. I was buying a latte when I saw Ron sitting in the cafe. His arm was around another girl. They were on a date. Wait a minute, why did I care? But the next morning, I saw Ron with the same girl again. She stuck like him to glue the whole day and I wasn't able to catch Ron alone till the evening. So you have a girlfriend now, huh? Yeah, I do have a girlfriend. Is that a problem? I guess it's just that I thought you liked me. Greta, I did like you, but you pushed me away because you didn't trust me. I didn't want to pressure you and I eventually had to move on. Besides, I thought you said you didn't need a guy to be happy. Ron's words totally caught me off guard. It was true, I didn't need a guy to be happy. At that second, Ron's girlfriend walked over and before I knew it, 
I started crying. I ran off and hid in the bathroom. It was true. I did want to be with Ron, and I'd totally blown my chance because I was scared. And now, it was too late. That night, I blocked Ron on all social media, and when the weekend came, I decided to go home to get away from everything. But when I got to the house, I almost fell over in shock. Mom was sitting outside with five different suitcases, and she looked like she hadn't eaten in weeks. Mom, what's going on? Greta, we're homeless. I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But you have millions of dollars. I spent it all. Plastic surgery that obviously didn't work. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I felt myself burn with rage. So you obviously think that looking pretty is worth losing our home over? Which doesn't surprise me, since my appearance is all you'd ever talk about while I was growing up. Mom started to cry then, which just made me angrier. I arranged for us to stay at a shelter that night, but I went to bed without speaking to her. That week, I got a job at the local library so I could bring in money for Mom. Then one day, who should I see but Ron and his stupid girlfriend? Whoa, you work here now? Does that mean I can keep my overdue library books now since I know the checkout lady? I don't have time for your jokes right now. I have other stuff to deal with, like being homeless because my mom spent too much money on plastic surgery, which is why, before I knew it, I was telling Ron all about my situation as eight other people waited behind him. I finally forced myself to stop talking, but by then, Ron's girlfriend had dragged him away and I had a bunch of annoyed customers. I was so angry at mom, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized I'd been way too hard on her. That night at dinner, I decided to apologize to her. I shouldn't have gotten so mad about the plastic surgery. I know you did it because you're insecure with how you look. After we pay off this debt, I want you to start seeing a therapist. Oh honey, I hate to admit it, but you're right. Thank you for being so understanding. And I'm sorry if I made you feel bad about your condition. I was dumb, really dumb. When you left, I felt empty and regretted everything, but I knew you were too mad to forgive me. Please forgive me, please. It's all good now, Mom. I felt so much better after talking to Mom that night. The next evening, I came back to the shelter ready to crash, but instead, I walked in to find Ron sitting outside with Mom? Whoa, what's going on here? Greta, this young man has given us the money to pay off our debt. His dad has a company in China. Wait, pause. Ron, first of all, how did you even know where I was staying? As creepy as it sounds, I tracked you down. I got really worried when you told me all that stuff today. And then I pulled Ron aside. I don't understand. Why would you do this for me? Greta, I broke up with my girlfriend. The only reason I dated her was so I could move on from you. I've done everything I can to forget about us and give you your space because I know you've been hurt. But I need to try one more time with you. You're too special to let go of that easy. Before I knew what I was doing, I pulled Ron close and kissed him. I couldn't help it. Is that your way of saying you want to give us another chance? Look, I'm glad I took time off from dating to focus on myself, but I really like you and I'm much happier and more confident than I was in high school. I think for the first time, I'm ready for a relationship. Well, when do we start? 